Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achena. Welcome to episode 54 of Game Programming. So last episode, we took a look at this generate level method and how that will work and sort of generate our level for us. And we set three colors to different tiles, right? Grass tile, flower tile, and rock tile are these colors. And what we basically said here was that if you know level dot pixels would equal that color, we, we would actually set that that particular tile equal to you know its corresponding tile, its corresponding value. So if we come in here, right, this is our sprite sheet. We've got uh, we've got three tiles planned down here: grass, flower, and rock. If I actually make a new sheet, uh, we'll probably just make a 64 by 64, right? So I'm making a completely new uh, PNG image, right? So that's it, just a new canvas. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is basically draw out the map. In fact, screw it, we're gonna change the canvas size to be eight by eight, which is uh, which is tiny, but um, that's all right. Actually, we'll change it to 16 by 16. God, Cherno, you can't make up your mind? Whatever, shut up. Okay, so, judging by our different tile colors here, which is um, FF00, FF, FF00 and 7F, 7F00, which are varying degrees of yellow. Well, the first one's red, obviously. Um, what I'm gonna do here, whoops, other way around. Um, I'm just gonna select a red color. And red is, what did we make red? So red, that's not red, is it? Not red at all. That is green. Um, so green is grass, right? So where I'm gonna do it is I'm sort of going to just make this whole thing green to start off with, because we want grass everywhere. And as for like flower and rock, what I'm gonna do with those two, you'll see in a minute. So yellow, of course, is flower. So I'll just plant a few flowers here. Oh wow, that is, that is, that is big. Um, and you know, maybe make like a nice little garden over here and um let's see maybe move one flower there and then we'll make 7f 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 which is just 50 um reducing the uh you know this v thing to 50 percent um and we'll just make like a little rocky like border around the entire thing And there we go, maybe we'll place a few rocks there. So this is gonna be our basic level. Let's save that um, in our textures um, folder. And we'll just call this like, I don't know, we'll just call it level.png, all right? It's gonna be just our basic level. And here it is, you can see here. And that's just what we're gonna load in right now. So back to Eclipse, we'll take a look at actually loading this. So the way that we sort of load load levels, as you can see that the public spawn level um, constructor actually leads back to super, which you can see here, it basically just loads the level from a path. Now, what does the load level do? The load level only does stuff in the spawn level class, right? So over here, what we need to do first of all is somehow initiate this, this level, I guess. So if we actually go back into game, where's our original? Game.java, here we go. Um, then you can see over here that we had a level, right? And that the level was actually equal to new random level. Now, instead of doing that, let's set the level equal to new spawn level. And of course, let's type in that path, which we just called it level. So I think if I am correct, um, I'll just take a look at the hierarchy again. So it's, right, it's basically where our sprite sheet is. It's in the same folder as our sprite sheet, which makes it a lot easier because we know that our sprite sheet is where is our sprite sheet? Where did we make our sprite sheet? Learn the sprite class? Probably in the sprite sheet class, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. So it was in textures, sprite sheet or PNG. So let's just copy that path and we'll pop it into our game right over here. All right, so we'll change sprite sheet to level obviously dot PNG. And that's it, all right? So let's import spawn level. So let's go back into our spawn level class. And one thing that we need to just make sure happens here is you can see that it kind of 
What happens here is tiles is what really gets set here. And if we go into level, so what I mean by tiles is what really gets set here. What I mean by that is that tiles is what actually contains the tile that needs to get rendered, right? We've got a tile thing called tiles and we set it equal to particular grass, but we're not actually rendering this anywhere at the moment. If we go back into our level, right, this is the thing that renders it. Now the way that it renders it is it gets a particular tile and we need to do that as well. So the way that it gets a tile at the moment is it just simply runs this get tile method and obviously looks up this tiles, this integer, this array integer of tiles and that's how it does it. But I'm saying, you know what, let's not do it that way. Let's do it a different way. Let's do it, instead of doing it via get tile, we don't need to get the tile that needs to get rendered because we've already got the tile that needs to get rendered, right? So in other words, what this was doing, this get tile method, it was converting this array of integers into a tile. But we've already done that, haven't we, in spawn level? See, we've already done that. We've converted this integer into tiles. So we can just bypass that entire step and instead of get tile, and I'll just keep it here for good measure, but instead of get tile, all we really need to do is get this tiles thing. And the way we can do that is, probably the easiest way I can think of right now is actually just moving this up a bit. So in other words, I'll move it up here and call it protected. And there you go. So yeah, we'll probably just rename this to I don't really want to rename this. I'll just rename this to tile in because we're not actually using it. All right. Okay, there you go. So it's looking pretty good. So now that we've got this tiles thing here, all we need to do here is back into our render thing. We can just simply say tiles and then x plus y times width and width of the level, mind you, which should automatically, I think, does it automatically get it? No, it wouldn't get it automatically. Uh, we'll just call it 16 for now. Um, oops, dot render at x, y, and string. That's it. So that should work. So if we launch our game, we'll actually see what happens if the game launches. All right, there's an error. Type is match. Oh, this thing. Um, we just gotta rename this back to, tile, to tiles int. All right, cool. So we get an array index out of bounds exception. I actually don't know if it is an array index out of bounds. Yes, it is. We get that straight away. And the reason we get that is because we're not handling outside of the map. So if we hop back into Java and terminate this running application, we can actually see that in our get tile method, that, that was our original method. We actually dealt with if we were outside of the thing. We just returned to tile.void tile. But we haven't done that in our um, spawn level, right? We haven't done that. It's just said that, you know, for all of these, set, set that equal to that. But we haven't actually, you know, set it to be that. So in other words, we need to, right? Let's copy this right now and just come over here and say over here that basically we want to set it equal to everything that's not in it. We're going to just return a void tile. Now, this is a, this is a bit different, right? Because, um, you might think you might just put it in here and it'll just work, but that's not really how it works because the thing is, if we go back into level, we see that we actually get, we request the tile at a particular coordinate, but here we're sort of requesting it here, aren't we? We're just saying, yep, tile's that coordinate, let's do it. Yeah, we can't really do that using this method, can we? So let's cut this out of here. Let's have a, have a big long think about how we can do it here. So. What we need to do is basically say that, all right, well, let, let's render the particular tile on the screen if it's within those bounds. If it's not, right, we don't want it to crash an array, an array index out of, out of bounds exception. Let's just sort of do this. So in other words, what we can do is we can say that if X is less than zero, blah, 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 blah let's tile dot void tile render right else we'll actually just look it up so let's check that out all right so there we there we have it there we have a nice little void tile thing and you can see it doesn't crash now that's one step of the level making process um, 
But the thing is, you can see that none of our other things actually loaded. And that's because we're not actually in the map. So how do we get in the map? We're gonna cover that next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, hit that like button and I'll see you guys on Monday with the latest episode of Game Programming. Later, guys. Thank you.